This one has seen many bizarre things working as an Eye of the Queen, but this may take the moon sugar cake. A strange dog walked up and spoke to Raz. That is what Raz said, a dog. It spoke words as clear as day. It gave me a message to give to you. The dog said you should meet it in the gardens because it had something important to tell you. Yes, yes, Raz will go warn the Praxy Queen. That would be for the best. Just be careful, my friend. This one does not trust dogs, especially ones that talk. Talking animals, so unnatural, yes? Don't merely be a visitor to Somerset. Help uphold its justice. You again. All right, follow me. The depravity of Daedric worship is running rampant through our land. Look around! Anyone gathered here to do you the attention? It's me, Barbus. Let's talk. Vile told me to find the mortal flea that continues to pester him and deliver a message. He's terrible with mortal names, but I immediately thought of you. Glad to see that my intuition's as sharp as ever. Oh yeah, I've got a message for you. My master's less than pleased with the way Nocturnal treated him. He wanted to be the first one to betray the Triad. Look. He wanted me to make sure to tell you he's not upset about the whole Vivek thing. At least, not anymore. Probably wants to make some kind of a deal. That's his bread and butter, you know. You can do what you want. But I figure you're even more angry with Nocturnal for the way she evaporated your friend and took the heart of transparent law. He told me you could find him in the caves just north of the city. Just be nice to him when you get there. He's still a little upset over how the Triad broke up and all that. My master has been livid since Nocturnal betrayed him. That's why I've been keeping my distance. Do me a favor and try not to make him any more irritated when you talk to him. I'd hate to see something bad happen to you. Oh wait, no I wouldn't. What? You never heard of the Daedric Prince of Bargains? The ruler of the Fields of Regret? and the Lord of Tricks and Wishes? Well, don't tell him that. He's upset enough as it is. <laughs> he had such high hopes until Nocturnal betrayed their partnership. Crafting certification.
Look at that! You can follow directions. My master's waiting for you deeper inside. I think I'll wait here. Vile let some of his more ferocious minions loose in the cave, and sometimes they don't differentiate between friend and food. Uh, try not to get killed before you hear what my master has to offer.
Even in death they serve. So, the Hound found you. Good. Let's discuss an arrangement, shall we? Don't let these crumbled husks trouble you. I needed to vent my frustrations, and my loyal followers were close at hand. Yes. Yes, I did. I assumed Barbus would have made that clear. I admire your persistence almost as much as I hate the fact that you constantly oppose me. Still, Nocturnal couldn't dispatch you, which indicates you may be useful to me after all. We have a common cause now, you and I. A common enemy. Nocturnal turned her back on our alliance. She betrayed the Triad. Worse, she betrayed me. Consider my next words carefully before you respond. I can grant you access to the Crystal Tower. You killed my court of Bedlam, Earl. You dispatched our pet sea slow. I hate you, but I also respect you. And I need your help to gain vengeance against Nocturnal. So I ask you this. How could you not trust me? Isn't the enemy of my enemy my friend? Upstairs, you'll find a key. With it, your Sigic friends can get you to my realm, where I can direct you to the Crystal Tower. Getting inside, though, for that, you'll need the Resolute Diamonds. Unfortunately, I can't help you with that. Haven't you learned anything? The Crystal Tower exists in all realms. In my realm, however, there is no gatehouse to block your way, just the tower's own defenses. And for that, unfortunately, you'll need the diamond keys. A problem, certainly, but one I'm sure you can overcome. Perhaps another prince will be willing to help you. I leave the details of that to you. Just remember this favor I have provided when you restore the tower and save your beloved Nern. I'm sure something of value will suggest itself when the time is right. I promise that whatever I ask for as compensation, it will not unduly cost you. Anyway, no more than you can afford. On that, you have my word. <laughs>